Google Bard has just received a update. There are more features, languages, and countries that support it. I'm going to walk you through the update so that you know what you can expect. As of today, Google Bard is available in 230 countries, including the Netherlands, where I am from. And it speaks over 40 different languages. And if you don't know yet, Bard is basically the equivalent of ChatGPT, but Bard is owned by Google. And the nice thing about Google Bard is that it has internet access. Let's go through the update together. Google Bard can now speak the response to you. And that is especially useful when you want to know about the pronunciation of a certain word. Simply enter a prompt and click on the icon to hear Bart's answers. Hey there, I can help you with a variety of tasks. And this feature is now live in over 40 different languages. The next thing is that you can easily change the tone of Google Bart's responses. And you have five different options for this. Simple, long, short, professional, and even casual. And the example that Google gives is that you can ask Bart to help to create a marketplace listing for a vintage armchair. And then shorten the response using the dropdown. Even though this feature is live in English and didn't make it to the other languages yet, it is likely that this feature will also come to the other languages later this year. Google also says that now they boost your productivity because previously the chats were stored away and difficult to find. Now they have made it so easy to access them, pin them to the top and rename the conversations. And now you can even pick up the recent conversations that you had with Google Bart right there in the sidebar. And this feature comes to all languages. And ChatGPT is not the only one who can write code. Google Bart can also do this for you. And today they also added support to, for example, export your Python code to Replit, in addition to Google Colab. This is also live in over 40 languages. And just as in ChatGPT, you can now share your conversation with others. But what I find one of the most crazy things in this update is that you can actually include photos in your chats and Google Bart will use Google Lens to analyze this image. And then you can talk about the image with Google Bart. And this opens up a whole set of use cases. For example, you make a photo of a car and then you can ask Google Bart which brand it is. Or you see a nice flower outside and you make a photo of it and Google Lens analyzes the photo and then tells you back right in the chat what kind of flower it is. This feature is only live in English. I'm sure that it will come to the other languages as well. All right, so that's it for the Bart July 13 update. If you want to become an expert on using Google Bart, make sure to check out this video over here and then i'll see you in the next one you're still here well then let me tell you a joke why did the computer go all broke because it used all of its cash <laughs>